Hello everyone. This is a first in a series of videos where we're going to discuss the nutrients in our food. We're going to kickstart our discussion by talking about fats, carbohydrates and proteins. I'm sure you've heard these buzzwords somewhere. And then we're going to go ahead and answer a few questions like what is a balanced and healthy diet and how do you read package labels, package labels on many of the food products that we buy from the grocery store. But in this particular video, we're concerned about answering just the one question, which is why should we care? Why should we be bothered about uh, learning about the nutrients in our food? And my hope is that by the end of this video, we would have answered this particular question satisfactorily. Uh, so to try and attempt an answer to this question, let me pose another question to you which is why do we eat food by the way feel free to pause the video think about the answers and then move on so here's the question why do you think we eat food if you said that we eat food to gain energy then you're absolutely correct yes we do eat food to get energy could you prove however that we eat food to get energy Ah, that's a tricky one, isn't it so what I'm going to do is play a video for you where a teacher is going to sift non-dairy creamer which is a particular product that you put in coffee over a Bunsen burner or a flame and watch closely what happens here we go now we also have energy in our food and so this right here is some non-dairy creamer non-dairy creamer is what you pour in coffee if you don't have cream and sugar available and so it's made up of sugar and it's also got some uh, fats in it as well and so I could take a little bit of the non-dairy creamer Mm. I could eat it and then I'm going to get energy released into my body uh, but let me show you something kind of cool what I'm going to do is I'm going to I don't know if you can pick this up on the video is I'm going to uh, sift this over the Bunsen burner and I get a huge amount of energy okay so now that we have clearly demonstrated that food has energy how much energy is there in food food products like an apple or a pack of non-dairy creamer or a can of soda for that matter? This is a more tricky question than it seems at first, isn't it? Well, let's just try and answer this with the help of an analogy. Let me pose a rather easy question to you. How much do you weigh? Well, your answer was probably similar to something that is on the screen. Maybe not exactly 120 pounds, maybe more, maybe less, uh, but was similar such that uh, it consisted of a number 120 followed by the word pounds so then that begs the question what is a pound if you said that pound is a unit of mass or mass is measured in pounds then you're absolutely correct what if I were to tell you now that a pound is to mass what calorie is to energy which means to say that the relationship between pound and mass is exactly the same as the relationship between calorie and energy. Yeah, you guessed it right. A calorie is a unit of energy. Much like pound is a unit of mass, a calorie is a unit of energy. So coming back to our original question, how much energy is there in a food product like a can of soda? Well, we can now guess that it should probably be a number represented here by a blank followed by the word calories right well it turns out that a can of coke actually has 155 calories could you tell me now how many calories there are in one serving of Cheetos feel free to lean in a little bit maximize the video if you have to and read the information underneath the nutrition facts if you said that there are 170 calories per serving of Cheetos, then you're absolutely correct. If you were unable to answer the question, however, don't worry about it, don't be discouraged. We're going to do a full video which is going to answer the following question. How do you read package labels? Alright, so now that we know that food has energy and that uh, food energy is measured in calories, let's define calories like scientists would. It is the amount of energy or heat it takes to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Wait, 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 wait. That's a lot of new terms, so we have to break this statement down. What is a kilogram? Well, a kilogram, much like a pound, is also a unit of mass. Kilogram, however, is the standard international unit of mass, which means that it's accepted internationally. And one kilogram is about 2.2 
pounds. What is a degree Celsius? A degree Celsius is a, a measure of temperature, much like Fahrenheit. So let's read the definition again. A calorie is the amount of energy or heat it takes to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Well, what does that mean? That means that if there was a food product that had one calorie of energy in it and we were somehow able to extract all of the heat energy out of it and convert it into a flame uh, to heat one kilogram of water, that energy would raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Isn't that cool? Well, what does it mean for a food to have 10 calories then? Well, by extension, that means that if we were able to extract all of the energy out of the food product that had 10 calories of energy and convert it into a flame to heat 10 kilograms of water, then we would be able to raise the temperature of 10 kilograms of water by 1 degree Celsius. So now I'm going to pose another question to you, but I'm not going to answer that, which is what does it mean for a food to have 155 calories? Okay, so let's do a very quick recap of what we have learned in the lesson thus far. We now know that food has energy. We demonstrated this with the help of a video. And we also know that food energy is measured in calories. But what about the original question that we started out with, which was, why should we learn about food nutrients in the first place? Well, we eat food pretty regularly, don't we? So how will we know that the foods that we are eating are healthy? Well, in order to answer this question, what we have to do is find out what is inside our food or what are the different components of our food. And nutrients is just another way of saying components of food. There are several of them like fats, carbohydrates and proteins and minerals and vitamins. We're going to talk about each and every one of these in separate videos. Okay, let's do one final recap and then we are done for the day today. We started out with the question, why should we learn about food nutrients? And we realized that in order to stay healthy, we need to eat really healthy food. And how are we going to find out if the food products that we are consuming are healthy or not? Well, we need to know about the food nutrients and we also need to know about the associated calories in the food that we are consuming. In the next video, we are going to talk about fats and carbohydrates, the different food nutrients. See you then.